Welcome to part four of our study of the New Testament book of James. What a fascinating writer and theologian he was. A man who understood that in Paul's words, we are saved by grace, but also a man who believed that though grace is free, it is never cheap. James was convinced that what we do confirms and authenticates what we say we believe. He would have said a quick amen to Edgar Guest's poem, I'd rather see a sermon than hear one any day. I'd rather one should walk with me than merely point the way. In the second half of James chapter 2, he writes this, What does it profit if someone says he has faith but has not works? If a brother or sister is ill-clad and in lack of daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what good is that? So faith by itself, if it has no works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith, I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I by my works will show you my faith. One of my oldest friends has worked his entire life in a small southern town managing a soup kitchen and clothing closet, dealing with homeless and marginally housed people. He was a pre-med student at a fine university who decided after graduating that instead of becoming a physician, God was calling him into ordained ministry. Academically gifted almost beyond description, he aced his way through a master's degree in one of America's best and most prestigious seminaries. And after that, he did postgraduate work. And then the doors began to open to him. He could become part of academia, uh, naming his way onto almost any faculty he desired. Or he could pastor churches. And given his intellect and relational skills, he would probably have wound up at the highest of the high steeple congregations. Or he could use his skill set to be a biblical interpreter and author. Instead, he chose to spend his entire life in near anonymity, working among the poorest of the poor, feeding their hungers, and comforting their sorrows. He loves to quote Mother Teresa in describing her clientele. These people are Christ to me. My friend is a person who was not merely willing to talk about faith, but instead was determined to live faithfully among those whom Jesus called the least of these, my brothers and sisters. I by my works, wrote James, I by my deeds, by my actions, by what I do among, with, and for people will show you my faith. I'd rather see a sermon than hear one any day. Martin Luther King Jr. revealed the very heart of James when he said, life's most urgent and persistent question is, what are you doing for others? Okay, think about these two questions. How do you understand the doctrine of being saved by grace alone over against James' command to put faith into practice? Second, as a church, as an individual, what are you doing for others? I'll see you next week as we continue studying the book of James.